Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you have a hair business or if you're thinking of starting your own hair business, in this video, I've put together some tips for how you can design your hair website using Shopify. For these tips, I've included some ways that you can customize your collection pages. And also I'll be showing you how you can promote and feature your email signup, how to customize your own email signup page and how to feature it on your main menu and how to optimize your website's page links to create a smooth navigation on your website for your visitors. Let's get straight into the video. First off, I'll be giving you a few different tips for how you can customize the display of your collection pages. Customizing your collection pages is a great way to lay out your sorting and your filtering options for your products. I'll also be showing you a beginner-friendly way that you can feature your collections on your website's homepage and also how you can feature a specific collection. First off, I'll be showing you how you can create a product collection for your online store. Here on Shopify, I'm going to click Products. Then you're going to click Collections. And this is where you'll be able to add a new product collection. You can title the collection and you can choose to write a mini collection description if you would like. And when you scroll down and click Browse, this is where you can select which products you would like to add to this collection. Here you'll be able to sort the arrangement of the products. So you can sort these by the product title, the product price, and one of my favorite ways to sort the products would be manually. This way when you click this icon, you can change the arrangement of the products. And next you're going to click online store and then navigation and you can open the main menu or you can choose to create a new menu. And here on this menu, you'll be able to remove or edit the current menu items and you'll be able to add new menu pages. So here I'll be adding a link to that new product collection. And that's how you can add a link to your product collections on the menu bar of your website. Next, you're going to go in to customize your website and I'm going to click on this header bar and here you can apply that brand new menu. And next, you can click on the product grid, and this is where you can begin customizing the display of your products on this collection page. You'll be able to increase the number of columns on desktop to show more products in a row. You can choose to edit your image shape, and you'll have a few more editing options under filtering and sorting. This is where you can choose to show or to hide the filtering and sorting options for your products. For the desktop filter layout, this is where you can adjust the display of those filtering and sorting options. You can also apply the drawer layout which can simplify the filter display so that when a customer click on this icon, they'll be able to apply their own custom filtering. Next, you can choose to add a collection list to the homepage of your website to promote a few or all of your collections. And you can also add a featured product collection. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're going to receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses, and I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step by step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this hair care Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. Here in between sections, you can click add section, and this is where I'll be inserting a collection list. A collection list is a section that's going to feature multiple of your product collections. You can increase the number of columns shown on desktop. Then when you click on one of these collections, you can select each product collection you would like to feature. And that's going to be a super quick beginner friendly way you can add a collection list to your homepage. And you can repeat a similar process, but with adding a featured collection. Here you can click add section and you can insert a featured collection. And then you can select a collection you would like to feature. The next tip, which can help you to build your email list and start forming a group of email list members would be to display an email signup not only on the homepage of your website, but you can also display it here on the footer bar of your website. Building your email list is an excellent way to form a clientele of repeating customers since you can send out emails to promote new products, new discounts you're running, holiday promotions, and more. I'll be showing you a very quick way you can add an email signup to your website, how to feature your email signup on the footer menu of your website, and also how you can create a custom email signup page to break down to your customers what they can gain out of becoming one of your email list members. To add an email signup to your website, you can select a spot here on the homepage of your website to choose to feature your email signup. You're going to click add section and here is where you can insert an email signup. When you click on this section, 
You can choose to change the color scheme of this section. And you can also choose if you'd like to make this section full width or not. When you uncheck this box, it will kind of take off the sides of your email sign up. When you click on the heading, this is where you can type in a text line to encourage visitors to join your email list. You can also put a call to action or mention a discount that they might receive when they join your email list. When you select this text, you'll have a few different editing options. You can put this in bold, italic, and under heading size, you can choose to make the text larger or smaller. You can also type in a subheading text. And again, you'll have a few different editing options for this text box. And that's a quick way that you can add an email sign up to your website. Then when you scroll down to the bottom of your website, you can click on the footer. And here you'll have the option to show your email sign up. And again, you can type in a mini text title or a call to action to promote customers and visitors to join your email list. And that's how you can add an email sign up to the footer menu. And next I'll be showing you how to create an email sign up page and how to link that page on your main menu. Here on Shopify, you're gonna click pages. Then I'm gonna click add page. I'll be titling this email list. And you wanna make sure that this page is set to visible. This way it will appear in your online store. I'm gonna save this page. Then you're gonna open your Shopify website. I'm gonna click this home page button, then click pages. I'm gonna click create template. And here I've named it email page template and I'm gonna click create template. Then here on Shopify, you're gonna to wanna to click pages and you're gonna open that email list page. And here where it says online store, under theme template is where you can apply that brand new email page template. All right, then I'm gonna be clicking navigation and I'm gonna open the menu. And this is where you can add a link to that new email page. Then when you open your website, you'll see the link for that email list page here on your menu. And I'll be showing you a few sections you can add to the email list page to help encourage your customers to join your email list. Here under template, I'm gonna click add section. And this is optional, but I'm gonna insert an image banner. Then I'm gonna click add section again. And here I'll be inserting one of those email sign up sections. And if you'd like, you can click on this email page and you can hide that title. Next, you can choose which way you would like to customize this page. I'll be removing the button label links. Then I'm also gonna go ahead and remove the container on desktop. And here you have a few other editing options. You can change the color scheme of this section. And here where it says image is where you can upload one or two background images for this image banner. I'll be setting the banner height to small, and then you can also choose to increase the image overlay opacity, which can help to make the overall image darker. Next, you can type in your introduction heading text. All right, for an example for the email sign up, I just added some example text of a few perks that customers can look forward to. And this is a great way to display and encourage your customers in a stylish way to join your email list. And the last tip I can recommend can help you to create a smoother navigation for your customers on your website. And this would be to customize your footer menu and optimize the links that you add to your footer menu. To do this here on Shopify, you're gonna click navigation. And here you can open your footer menu. Here you can begin customizing your footer menu links. I'll be adding a link to the homepage of the website. And I'm gonna position this at the top of the menu links. And next you can choose to feature links that will be beneficial towards customers shopping your products and also visiting other pages within your store. So I'll be adding a link to the all collections page. Then you can add links to pages that you've created within your store. I'll be adding a link to that new email signup page. Then you can add links to your policy pages. You can add a link to your blogs or blog posts. And for the last link I'm adding to the footer menu, I'll be adding a link to the contact page. Then you're gonna open your website and scroll to the very bottom. You're gonna click on your footer bar. And here I'm gonna click add block. And I'll be inserting a menu block. 
and you're gonna wanna make sure that this is linked to your footer menu. Then I'm gonna click add block again, and I'll be adding an image block. And this is where you can insert your logo. And that's how you can go in and add your footer bar menu links. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.